Combat USA Fighting Championship. Presented by Oneida Casino, where fun is our game. Tonight, the 2010 Combat USA Fighting Championship season continues. This week on Combat USA Fighting Championship, we return to Oneida Casino in Green Bay for our main event from September 11th, the 185-pound fight between Gerald the Machine Mearshart and Smiling Sam Alvey. Gerald Mearshart trains under UFC veteran Nick Aguilar at Aguilar Combative Systems in Racine, Wisconsin. He's a powerful striker who loves to stand and bang and is also a very impressive submission artist. Gerald comes into this fight off of an overwhelming win in the semifinals over UFC vet Ron Faircloth. Let's see how he stands up against Sam Alvey. Smiling Sam trains under Paul Metz at Metz Combat Club in Manitowoc, Wisconsin. He comes into this fight with an 11 and 1 record, ranked the number one 185 pound fighter in the state and is a Wisconsin fan favorite. He loves to strike and brings amazing knockout power. Let's see what happens when these two powerful fighters meet. Here we go. Oh, comes both, in with a both brutal. Stand, both standing southpaw. Nice leg kick to start with. You know, a wild haymarket throw by Gerald. Gerald is looking very crisp. This fight is not going to end good. There's a lot of bad blood in the air. John, I'm telling you, this fight is not going to end good. There was a lot of trash talking online, wasn't there? A lot of trash talking. Mainly coming, I mean, well, 100% coming from Gerald Mearshart. Sam Elvey <laughs> just doesn't do that, but, uh, you know, Gerald may uh, may prove that there's a reason he did it. That's what he's here to looking to do. Ooh. Nice, nice shot by Gerald. Nice shot by Gerald. Oh, and Sam stops Sam the takedown. Elvey, yeah. Gerald being one of the most impressive ground guys in the state, and Sam just stopped his takedown. It was a great shot, but great stuff as well. And now they're fighting for underhooks against the cage. With right now, Gerald pushing the. Oh, well, that, nice turn. Sam actually behind Gerald. Oh. Throwing some knees. Putting pressure against the cage from Sam Alvey. And right now, I can't tell for sure from here, but it looks like Sam has both underhooks and Gerald's got two overhooks. I can see this side he does, but I'm not sure. Overhook being the exact opposite as an underhook, people. It's when you break your hand and wrap it around the top of your opponent's arm. Uh, very similar to how Gerald Mearshart in the gray shorts is doing Sam right now. Feeling shit out. Kind of vying for position. Both trying to get those underhooks. This is an explosive fight. Opens up a bit. Sam, Sam is throwing hard here today. It's not very obviously two lefties go at it. Sam Alvey doing a little taunting. And uh, Gerald Mears are trying to capitalize it in the middle of the taunt. <laughs> I would too. Ooh, that was a brutal head kick. I didn't see it. Did that land? Yeah, the ref was in the way. Kind of a wild haymaker there. Gerald's got a great shot. Sam think... controlling the center of the cage, almost stalking Gerald at this point. Yeah. I got a feeling we're going to be looking for shots from Gerald here soon again. Yeah. He's got a great shot, too. But he knows he's got to set it up, too. Look at that there nice shot again. Oh, and Sam stuffs the shot again. Another shot. And again. Driving him back And in. again. Now, John, as a, as a fighter who likes to fight on the ground, uh, how frustrating it is it when that you're shooting and you can't seem to capitalize it's, on that takedown. It's, you know, if you think taking someone down is exhausting, which it is, taking someone down and failing, you know, going for an attempt and failing is heartbreaking and exhausting, you know? All in one. You, know, you, just, you just can't give up. You have to know that's your way out and you have to just keep doing it. And I think Gerald's got it in him to, to stay consistent and keep shooting and doing exactly what he's doing. Keep that pressure against the cage. for a high crotch here, Gerald. And he almost had it. He's got to get his hips close to him. Sam's doing a very good job at keeping his hips down. 
sitting out on it. Oh, there's the oh, high cross. Landed by Mearshart. Textbook high cross by Mearshart. And this is where Gerald wants to be, and this is where Sam does not want to be. Now we're working from the half guard. Look at this, look at Sam's this. Sam's muscling his way back up. He's got that half guard. Now Sam could have stood up right there. He would have had it. Yeah, well, that was an amazing display of strength. All the weight of both those fighters was on his right arm. Uh, Sam's right arm just muscled his way up there. Oh, oh my God. Nice. Nice reversal by Sam Elton. And now, now this is very is close up. to how we saw the fight end with uh, Pat O'Malley. Uh-oh. Mearshart gave a thumbs up to the ref. And Sam's going to let him stand because that's what Sam does. Come back up here, work for that takedown again. Now, from that back position, exactly how Sam put out Pat O'Malley, who's right. another very, very well-respected fighter exactly. in the state of Wisconsin. I was getting flashbacks during that time. This is what these tournaments are all about, man. This is what Combat USA is all about. The oh. best against the best. There's no these, easy are the type of, these are the type of fights you get when you put that together, John. Unbelievable. This is the end of round one right now. Round two. Now I saw the doc. I saw the uh, the cut man carrying to Gerald's uh, right side of his head. I don't know if it was his ear, but there must be something bleeding there. To see a look when they circle around. He's throwing those leg kicks a little higher. If he could land those right in the middle of his leg or even closer to his knee, he'd be better off. He's kind of kicking his hip with those. When it comes to punching, man, Sam Elvey is uh, a scary man. Yeah. He's a counter puncher. He's much like Chuck Liddell. He wants you to come into him striking, and then he wants to punch off your strikes. See there? Right. That's what he's looking for. He wants something like that, and then he'll strike off of that. Watch. He'll bait him in. Here comes baiting him in. He says, come to me. Gerald knows this, which is why Gerald's just backing up. He's saying, come on. He's wanting, he's wanting to push Sam into him, but Sam's patient. Look it, waits for him to come and then swings. Every time, waits for him to come and then swings. It's a counter striker. And you know what happens when you counter strike? A lot of times, big knockout. Because you got guys off balance. They're already coming into you. They're already coming into you. Their momentum's going to you. There's no way for them to take the steam off that punch by backing up. Exactly. I still think Mirchard's best shot is to get this to the ground and just, just Absolutely. finding the right range right now and the right setup for it, is, I think, is his challenge. Yeah, and there's no count Mirchard out at this point. Oh, no way. Again, vying for position up against the cage, looking for underhooks. Yeah, and you're going to look for Gerald to work a takedown off the cage here. That's what you're going to be looking for. Possibly for another uh, high crotch. Or just keeping pressure up against, against the cage and try to drop down for a double leg or single leg. Yeah, several takedowns you can work from this position. I can see Gerald's got one underhook, and it looks like... Ooh. All right, uh, Mirchai going for what begin well, the beginning of a guillotine. He's a little bit too low on his body. Yeah, he's turned his back. You got Nick Aguilar cornering from one side. You got Paul Metz cornering from the other side. The interesting thing here is both of them have a ring from their corner tonight. Well, Paul Metz took a ring home with Josh Cassie cornering him. Nick Aguilar took a ring home now, this and some cash home with I like Javi. I like this. You know, obviously Sam wants to get up and, and bang toe to toe, but if he can do a little damage while he's down, I think that wins over the judges, and he might mess up his legs a little bit. I, I like. I've always liked that strategy more when you're standing over your opponent instead of just backing away and letting him back up. Give him, give him a little bit of damage first. Punch through the guard, kick through the guard before you at least that before you stand on. That was a, just to add a little something to it. Yeah. Up. Look at him. He's looking for that right. Sam's looking for that right. There it is. Swung it. Nothing there. It does look like Gerald's, uh, you know. He is, has a little fatigue going on. Yeah. Smiling Sam's uh, corner saying he's tired, he's tired. And, uh, he does look it. Looks I to think be that's deceiving. a direct result of them shots and getting stuffed. 
Yeah, it's exhausting. Now Sam's starting to come in, which is different from his traditional. Usually wants to bait Gerald into him. Right there oh, it is. Nice Ooh. right by uh, Gerald. Well, I have to say, this does not look like a man fighting a child. No. <laughs> no. This looks like two of the number one 185-pound fighters in the state going toe-to-toe -to, -toe to me. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, nice leg kick by Sam. And you don't see a lot of those out of Sam. He likes to keep things striking. He loves those hands. I mean, yeah, with the hands. <laughs> Another God, failed he, attempt at a He table. shot from halfway across the cage with that one. He's fast. You can't take that from him. He's fast as lightning. Right, but I think... Oh, nice middle Man. kick. Wow. And I, answered I, with a right hand from Sam. I think that actually affected another one. I think that actually affected Sam uh, to keep that elbow down. Enjoy an adventure filled with thrills and fun. Oneida Casino offers guests the excitement of first-class entertainment with non-stop casino action and the luxury of the Radisson Hotel and Conference Center. Try your luck at slots and a variety of table games, plus high-stakes bingo, poker, and off-track betting. Visitors to Oneida Casino will never go hungry, no matter what you're in the mood for. Watch the area's best live entertainment free in the Oneida Casino Lounge. Oneida Casino. Fun is our game. Combat USA, we are MMA. December 1, Combat USA brings you the top eight in the state 2011 season. A four-state bracket designed to find the top professional fighters in each of four weight classes to represent your state. 145, 155, 170, 185. See us live on pay-per-view. Also, follow us online at facebook.com slash combat USA. The future of competition.